was programmed this vault tech vs 20i for the first time now you can have up to 20 uh, individual fingerprint scan in here now there's going to be two administrators so the first time you use this the first uh, two fingerprints you put in here are going to be your administrators uh, either you can have two different people or you can just scan two of your fingers and those two fingers will be administrators so after you've done your administrators uh, you'll see the light blink yellow and after that you'll have the administrator will have to put his finger on there and then you can scan in an individual person then so let's get to program it real quick all you do is press the reprogram now you're going to, want to put your try to variate there a little bit you just scan it five times and it should be good to go now I'm gonna be a single administrator so I'll just do this finger here just variate all right so what you'll see here let's test it real quick there we go so now when you reprogram it now if you have another individual you'll see that it hits yellow there so your administrator will put his finger in and then you'll get someone else to come in and put their fingerprints in there so that's how to reprogram it now let's reprogram the number pad from the factory it's going to come with the code it's one two three four five all right so they recommend uh it can have its minimum of four numbers to eight they recommend at least six to eight code but today we're just do one two one two is going to be my code so let's go ahead and get that in there so what we're going to do is hold down the button for three seconds until at least it beeps all numbers light up so let's do one two one two now we're gonna press it down again until we see that same thing happen there we go do it one more time and then hold it down until you see that it goes green there you go so let's see if it worked one one two one two there you go now if you want to check the battery quickly all you have to do is press down on five and hold it now if it goes up to uh, the key number there four is 80 to 100 percent i'll show you the rest in post exactly what the rest of the numbers mean so that's how to quickly check the battery so let's go ahead and get the app downloaded i'll be using a pixel 3 for this because i'm filming on my iphone uh, i'll put the qr code right here so if you're missing that information you can do it yourself as you can see in real time this loads very quickly and then when you're done you end up with the app i've been messing with a little bit I already uh, went to the settings and you know renamed my safe yours truly right there but there's a lot of those settings on here for light duration you can just go to 60 seconds 30 seconds uh, sound pitch you can have the alarm right here if someone uses the manual like the key it will start sounding alarm i turned it off that was kind of annoying <laughs> but um so let's go back over here uh, also the log history is freaking awesome there's just all kinds of entries here to your light duration set to 60 seconds so it just all kinds of information on here on your log and last but not least i want to show you in the app uh, if you want to open the safe uh, through your bluetooth you're gonna to have to do this real quick now let's see here i'm gonna have to do this film with one hand but what you're gonna do is put program one and four at the same time hold it for three seconds and you'll see on the phone there you go. Let's go ahead and test it. Here we go. There you go. Let's do a quick demonstration of what I'm doing with these tests. This is a verify, uh, this is an FBI certified scanner there. This is just your Amazon Basics safe right here. Simply put, there's just a little piece of toilet paper. Let's give a nice little wet finger there. Put down the scanner. As you see the fluid there, so this the levels I want to use when I'm doing this. Then I'll come in here with some powder. I'll show you how much you get, like that much of my finger. And there you go. Move the Amazon Basics up here to get my fingerprint correctly on there. So let's do the exact same test with this. The only safe to not pass these tests is going to be the uh, Bill Conch safe. It's the only way to fail these tests. Every other brand has done well. Let's get the same amount on there. There you go. So now we're gonna do the vault tech and see how well it handles these tests. All right, let's do the test on this scanner, see how well it performs. Start off with the wettish toilet paper. There we go. That was absolutely no issue. Let's do it again. We should get a good amount on there. I wanna try to retest really this thing out. There we go, wipe it off real quick. That was a lot. That was more than, uh, it's pretty much a cause failure on most of these, but I just wanted to check. Just do it again. This is the normal amount. No problem. So let's go over to the powder challenge now. Let's wipe this off. Get a good amount on there. 
Here we go. Perfect. This is a very good scanner and definitely easily passed my test. Let's do a time test to see how quickly the safe will open. I'll show you on the screen some other brands I've tested to see how quickly those open. So let's just see how fast this biometric scanner is. All right, time is just right. Here we go. And there's your official time right there. Vault Tech VS20i has passed this round of tests. Later on, we'll be testing it with this 600 pound magnet to see if we can pull any internal metal parts, or we'll test it with this. This is a molding material that I'll get my fingerprint off of and maybe use some silly putty or Play Doh and uh, see if that will trick the biometric scanner into opening. So if you want to see that, definitely subscribe. Until next time, we'll see you then.